I feel terrible for Terrence Howard, not because his physics ideas are out there, but because he walked straight into a trap. And if you care about science or truth, you should care what happened next. On the Patrick Bet David podcast, Terrence thought he was getting an expert feedback, peer review, expert review, respectfully challenging his ideas. But here's the twist. The so-called expert opponent brought in wasn't a theoretical physicist at all, and he had his own designs on the huge platform that Patrick Bet David hosted. Dr. Wei Ping Yu is an applied physicist. He works at NASA. His background is impressive. That is, however, until you realize his so-called Yuan universal theory of everything has zero peer-reviewed papers in theoretical physics, zero citations for his Yuan theory, zero experimental evidence. Look, science isn't perfect, and anybody is entitled to their own ideas. But the best tool we have is the scientific method, one that revolves around replication and evidence. You might be wondering, Keating, why does this matter? Isn't science all about new ideas wherever they come from? Why are you such a gatekeeper? Let me be blunt. No, not all ideas are created equal. Real science is built on evidence, not vibes or charisma, but hard data. Let's go through Dr. Yu's myths that he promulgated about the standard model of physics before we get to why his theory, the Yuan theory, is completely untested, unverified by anyone else but him. First, he claims that electrons can split in half. That's completely false. Electrons are elementary, fundamental, indivisible particles. And uh, we get, if we get this wrong, and what happens next? So if we get the electron wrong, I will explain why we get it wrong, if yeah. you have the time. Yeah, I can help you with that mind. too. Myth number two. Two, electrons don't orbit around the nucleus. There is no free orbiting electrons. That's completely fallacious. We've known for over 100 years that the electrons in all atoms orbit in so-called orbitals, and their characteristic shapes lead to characteristic patterns in their spectra. This is one of the foundations of quantum physics and he denies it. Myth number three. He claims gravity is not due to the warping of space-time, but is instead somehow related to magnetic forces. Property of a particle system of magnetic force. It's completely false. Gravity has been known to be the result of warping space-time since the days of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. It's how the GPS achieves the precision it does to get Dr. Yu down to Florida to interview with Patrick and Terrence. Without general relativistic correction due to the curvature of space-time, he would be lost without a trace. Myth number four. He claims that the strong and weak nuclear forces don't exist. Completely false. Actually means that whether combine them or repel them, right? Interaction. He claims in some way that's difficult to understand that all forces are somehow related to magnetism, not even to electromagnetism. He seems to claim that the Yuan theory postulates that all forces are unified into one force. Completely false. We know for sure that the electroweak force is completely different than the strong nuclear force, and we have yet to make a so-called grand unified theory where the three higher energy forces are unified. That's true, but we have abundant evidence for the unification of electricity with magnetism and for electromagnetism with the weak force. This is complete and utter nonsense. And it would be bad enough if it was just bad science but it was also bad theater. And that leaves you, the public, lost. And we all lose when things like this happens. And here's what really worries me about Dr. Yu. He claims that he wanted to influence high school and college kids. Easier for audience, I'm, I'm targeting Please. college student or high school student. So, so I try to explain so what gravity is now. And he surely has influenced them, but unfortunately his influence is to provide a miseducation with misinformation that will take decades perhaps to undo those many millions of young minds that may be influenced by this podcast. And it won't be the last time, I'm sure. This is how misinformation spreads. This is how trust breaks down. This is how science loses. And when science loses, you lose. Full disclosure, Patrick had asked me if I was willing to come on the show, and I would have, but I was too busy interviewing with Neil deGrasse Tyson, who had challenged Terence's ideas previously. Now, I shouldn't have had on anybody, especially somebody that hijacked Terence's notoriety and attention and fame for his own viral purposes. Now the video's gone viral, the damage is done. Look, science isn't perfect, and anybody is entitled to their own ideas. But the best tool we have is the scientific method, one that revolves around replication and evidence. And this doesn't have it. It's hard, science is slow, but it works, and it's worth it. I hope you'll agree that it was a mistake for Dr. Yu to be included on the On Patrick's podcast with Terrence.